Hey guys, and welcome back to A Plan With Me. It's been a while since I've done one of these. I wanted to show if this is last week. I used this Celestial Zodiac kit and I absolutely loved it. The colors are perfect and I like how the pink and the navy blue went together. So let's go ahead and grab our new kit. I'm gonna head over to my sticker book. This is the Wise Planner kit from Asia B on Etsy. Everything I use will be linked down below, so feel free to check that out. I recently discovered her Etsy shop and she has some really cute stuff, so definitely check it out. I am Ravenclaw though, so I of course had to choose this Wise Planner Girl one. Um, and I'm starting off today with the date headers. I had a little bit of time like trying to figure out where to crop these down or where to like resize them because they're brush strokes so it's like really interesting because this doesn't have like a definitive edge or anything like that it's not a square you know so when I was cropping it down I was trying to decide exactly what to do I think it turned out really fine but I, if you're really picky <laughs> you can definitely tell that they're not all the same size and whatnot I could have made the background transparent and maybe that would have helped but that's just too much work I'm not about making the background transparent so I just left it like that and they turned out great and I really liked them Now, if you're trying to get into digital planning because you think this is going to be something that's super quick and easy, let me just tell you, it's really not. Digital planning isn't something that I would say is necessarily fast, especially if you want to plan like this, basically make it look like a physical planner with a kit and all. Um, it takes a while and it's definitely a learning curve. You have to learn how to resize things and move things around and everything like that. Once you get the hang of it though, it's not a bad thing, it just takes a little while. And I think a lot of people think that they're going to be able to pull out their iPad real quick and plan really fast and it's not necessarily something that's faster. I will say it's definitely more convenient though. Like I have my stickers at all times and I have my planner at all times as long as I have my iPad and so for me that's what's worth it. I love having everything in one spot. It's also a lot cheaper to do digital planning. I know I still spend money on printable kits and other stickers from shops and digital items but it's nothing compared to like the price of kits for physical planning and so that's one of the things that I really love also with these digital kits I have them forever and once I use a sticker it's not gone I just have to copy it again so I really like that so what you missed so far was I put down a half box or quarter box or I don't know, I don't know all the planner terms, but I put down a blue box and put one of my chubbies in it. Um, this drinking iced coffee and it says, but first coffee. Then underneath there, I have an appointment label with a laptop icon, again from my chubby's shop. It's the work sticker grouping. Um, everything, as I said, will be linked down below. But I use my chubbies a lot because I like them and I just like my own doodles. It makes it really personal and it makes it really functional for me in the sense that if I need a new sticker, I just make a new one. So that was it basically that I had for that day. So I went ahead and put down a box for that. Um, I like digital planning because I can just cut it in a in like crop it down so if you saw before I was resizing that box and I made it fit width wise but then it was like a little bit too long all I did was chop it off and it was so easy and if I would have chopped off too much I could have undid that and started all over again Tuesday I always mark trash day trash or recycling but this week just happened to be trash the trash doodle is one of my own. I don't sell it, it's just a doodle I did. So you can just draw it yourself, it's super easy. I did it in Procreate. I recently got these Grumpy Bear stickers. I believe it's a digital vi uh, vellum that she sells and she kind of it's intended to be made into a vellum but I just take every single character icon and I crop it out and I use it and it was absolutely perfect I did make this one transparent because it did have like a white background before um, but I just made it transparent so that I have each of these grumpy bear characters and it was like the best three dollars I've ever spent
I really like how when I decided that I wanted to add this box into it, I was at the bottom and I was like, wait, I don't want this box to be at the bottom because Monday has a box at the bottom. So I wanted it at the top and all I had to do was grab that lasso tool and I could literally pull every single thing down. If this had been like physical stickers, I would not have been able to do that. It would have been such a pain. I would have had to pull them all up and... I don't know. I'm just the biggest advocate for digital planners just because like I found how it works for me and I think it can work for so many other people too. And it's so much better. Go paperless people. These bow, I don't know what you'd call them, like labels, just filler washi sort of thing are so perfect and you can use the freehand tool when you're cropping to crop these like right on the picture it works out really well and it's not too bad to do you can see i fumbled just a little bit and you don't have to get extremely perfect or extremely close i mean it still works out and it's great I had to, of course, mark wine time with my mom. Every Wednesday, I have what we call Wine Wednesday. I live in Kansas City, and my mom lives in Indiana. That's where I'm originally from. And so we just have a little wine chat every single Wednesday, and it's the best thing that we've ever done. I'm actually closer to my mom now than I was when I lived like two hours away from her, um, and now I live like nine hours away. But we do these Wine Wednesdays every week, and it's my favorite part of the whole week. So I have to track it in my planner, even though it's not something I'm ever gonna forget. I'm using this skinny washi to like denote a certain amount of time. I'm on call this weekend, which sucks, but I'm cropping it down to fit each of the days. One of the tips I learned was not to always resize. So in this case, I stretched out the washi to fit Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and it was the width that I wanted. So when I wanted to place it on Sunday, instead of resizing it, which would have changed the width and the height of it, I just cropped it down. I hope that makes sense because it does to me, but I had to struggle a little bit to figure that out because as you resize things, you know, it resizes from all directions. So it would have made the washi fatter and I definitely did not want that. The girl I used with the pink hair is from Pizza Kitten Plans or something like that. We generously, she so generously just shared with me one day. I reached out to her on Instagram and I was like, hey, I'll give you some stuff for free if you'll like do a swap with me. And she was totally down. So we just swapped some stickers and she gave me all of those little icons of her pink girl. I don't know what she calls her, but I thought it was so cute and the expressions are just perfect. This payday icon is one that I made myself. Again, just doodled it in Procreate. And I think right before here, my camera actually cut out. So you missed me laying down that gray label, but it's nothing exciting. <laughs> I fumble around with this a little bit. I'm trying to decide which color box I want to use and then my GoodNotes does crazy things and doesn't know how to work. <laughs> so good thing that undo button is there. Okay, we're getting almost close to being done with the week. I'm just adding in a few final touches here. Um, my Friday was pretty booked, so I only had a little bit of room. So I added some skinny washi style deco here um, and just kind of filled it in with different sorts of things like another one of those bow headers, which I love.
My weekends are usually pretty chill. I don't have a lot of plans. So right now I'm like flipping through my phone to see what the heck I have going on. And of course it's like nothing. So I'm trying to figure out what I need to put in. I do list a few different bills I have and later on, not in this video, I realize I totally put those on Saturday and the bills are due Sunday, but it's okay. I can pay them early. Adding another full box here. I wanted to add a full box on Sunday too because um, I had nothing planned for Sunday. I mean, I get a lot of stuff done on the weekends like Etsy shop stuff and everything like that, but nothing that's like set in stone. I just kind of tackle my to-do list as I feel like it. So instead of adding another full box on Sunday, I decided I'd add this checklist. It's really cool because I think if you would have printed this sticker kit out on actual paper, that checklist would have been really dark. And you might have even had to use like a white pen or something. And of course, I'll probably have to use a white pen too, but it's so easy on an iPad. What I'm doing now is just copying my habit tracker from my previous week. I can grab it and paste it and there we go. The entire habit tracker and all of the text is right there ready to go. I'm gonna grab me some washi here and you can see again where I'm stretching it out and then cropping it down. This is the best way for me to make washi fit because obviously these printable kits aren't really made for digital. They work perfectly, but not exactly the right size, which is why everything just has to be reshaped just a little bit. This final section is usually where I track my meals. I usually had some sort of deco, but I just liked this castle so much, I decided to do that instead of all the little deco pieces. And then I added this weekly tracker for all of my different dinners. And that's basically it for this plan with me, guys. I hope you liked it. It's definitely different than my last one. And I'm hoping to do some of these every single week. So if you did like it, give it a thumbs up. And I'll have more again next week. So make sure you subscribe to come back. If you aren't following me on Instagram, please do. It's Danielle Plans. And it'll be linked down below. I post every single day and keep up to date on everything that's happening in my planner. I also like to chat with you guys in my DMs and post in my story a lot. So Instagram is where it's at. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Ta-ta!